Welcome to another Mini Kit Monday video. This is my Mini Kit Monday kit reveal for the month of May. Becky put out a picture and I'm so sorry. I am so not prepared for this video. I didn't even uh, film it. I haven't even put it out on time. I don't know what day it is. My days are starting to like melt, melt into one another. And I am just having the hardest of times to try and kind of incorporate myself back into the groove, you know? And it just, I, I can't get it. I can't get with it. I can barely get with it during regular, regular times. And that's, that's a really loose term, get with it for me. <laughs> so <laughs> this mini kit Monday month, I don't know if any of this is going to go with the inspiration, but I do have some things that are related to the inspiration board that Becky provided. I also know that Jeannie Linguini um, on, here on YouTube and I can't, I saw her name, but I don't know who it is. I, like I said, I'm not prepared. I am so sorry. I will try to get their names at the end or in the description box below, but I am keeping my kit super, super, super minimal. I haven't even pulled out letters or thickers. So there's that. And I might just, no, because I put all those away too. So I can't even like pull one out of the seat of my pants. Why don't we just try to do that? Um, let's try to do, ah, we're not even, not even. Look, this is gonna be my kit for May. I'm starting off with this Emerson Lane and, and to top it all off, I don't even know if I'm going to use this for the whole month. I might end up making page paper kits because I have a project in mind that I need to do and finish and I'd like to get, you know, a head start on it, um, head way into it. And so this is the first thing that came to mind. I have thought about it and I know that I do want to start playing with collections that I haven't touched. I've been, I do a lot of shopping. I love collecting. I love finding great deals, but I have not touched and played and cut into things that I've bought and I want to. And so this might end up being a page kit. I am not sure. I am going to use the Emerson Lane collection by Heidi Swap, as I mentioned before. I love the color scheme. It has that blue, it has that yellow and the color uh, green and pink. And this is a lovely color scheme. I love all of Heidi's stuff. I recently did a haul. It will probably come after this video actually, because I do want to get this video out first. And these are cut apart papers that I don't know what order they came in in the paper pad. I usually do this right off the bat is look for the cut aparts or any papers that look cut cuttable to me and that's what really inspires me to kind of just dig into the paper pad and that's what kind of takes away from the oh look at that I didn't even realize those were doubles so somewhere along the lines I did pull these out and I know that's what I like to do first because I love cutting into the cut aparts it kind of takes that hesitation away from trying to cut into other papers in the paper pad. I can't get all emotional or, well, I can get emotional. I can get emotionally um, excited about how colorful these papers are and what beautiful papers are in here. I love the green in this collection. Classic stripes, classic sweaty, but it does have some pink, well, just a pink element here. And then some florals. She's always really fun with her florals. I love the extra details that sometimes the papers have. Classic polka dot, wood grain, her wood grain. Oh, de rule de rule i am feeling kind of feisty because um i wasn't feeling filming and so now i'm in a i filmed a haul video and those usually kind of get me into the mood of filming or getting back into things that's a good way to kind of pump yourself up for something and doing a haul uh filming a haul receiving the haul getting a little pick me up a letter anything like that even a card will kind of jump start me into doing something that i don't want to do. I love this kind of, it's a polka dot, isn't it? But it's got this distressed polka dot. I really like that. I'm sorry if my voice sounds funny or when I talk, when I say things, they don't come out right. I don't know what it is. I probably just get too excited and then I don't <laughs> end up saying things right. But look at this floral. Oh my God. So pretty. And I really like this page. This was a lot of fun in this collection. Wood grain again. This leans into the green for whatever reason. When I first saw this, it's a gray wood grain. But when I looked at the floral with it, or when I tried to put something else on it, like this in here, I feel like it picked up more blue in the tone. So maybe it's like one of those lighter 
colored wood grains but I love it and I'm just flipping through the paper pad here I think you all have seen it I think it's gone around or it's been out long enough where everybody knows what it looks like I do oh, I really love this I really love that this. this is a really cool option for somebody that doesn't like cutting into all of their 12 by 12 they don't have a 6 by 6 or a 6 by 8 to cut into this type of pattern paper is awesome for that because it just gives you all of the patterns all on one sheet and you can just you know this could be the one thing that then you can go into other papers and just use them like normal you don't have to cut up all your 12 by 12s i love this page i want to use it and so anyway my plans for this kit i don't know what i or how much i'm going to use for it i just know and i pulled it because and it kind of repeats there there's one that i actually didn't cut into that looks like a cut apart but i didn't pull it out to cut and sometimes i do that sometimes if i feel like oh i can still use it as a background i'll leave one of them i don't have to cut all of those papers all of these pieces up I can just use that as a background as well and I think it was because I was inspired when this collection came out somebody had done a background or a paper layout with with that background in it already so anyway these will be cut into cut aparts I'm thinking of even starting another mm, I wish I could have started another notebook but I don't want to I want to and I don't want to but I think I'm just gonna do I have pages ready I'm gonna take this downstairs I'm gonna take these cut aparts downstairs and I'm gonna start some sheets I'm also going to include the ephemera with this kit look at how gorgeous oh i really love her stuff there's vellum there's see there's frames there's tags there's vellum florals those are oh i'd love to get a tattoo like that i don't have any <laughs> <laughs> more tags just classic Heidi stuff I really love her stuff and so if you haven't seen the ephemera for this there is a few things that you can look at there's a, this ticket actually has like texture they actually cut up the little pieces here's that lovely green and it's just paper it says paper clips that's totally cute you know what I could pull out from here and I that's dangerous that's already a dangerous move to start thinking outwards because I want to keep this minimal. I want to keep this as concise and as small as I can. So those are some of the ephemera. Um, I also happened to find this pack of envelopes that she had for this collection. And so there were only four. This one was really bent up in the package. I felt so bad for that, but no worries. I'll probably layer them and then have only the pocket accessible. These remind me of Jen Gallagher layouts. She I saw a class of hers just recently that they were offering up and she did one where she could incorporate those big pouches and I liked it. This is also the stamp set. I don't know that I'll be able to have time to do this because I kind of want to do them fast and I want to do a couple of layouts. I don't know if I'll get to that but that was also in the collection. I had also some photo corners and so I've already used some of this pack so that's what I have left and the 6x12 sticker sheet set. It has a lot of labels so those are a lot of starting, starting elements elements for clusters if I decide to go that way with the elements. Anyway, I really love this collection. Very floral, very, that's kind of like the main theme is the hearts, the labels, florals, even there's even a few hexagons and this has word stickers down here. And then, like I said, lots of labels. So the only thing that wasn't from this collection that I also included were some washi tapes. I just received these washi tapes and they go lovely with the collection. I was really surprised. This is honey and spice, y'all. That's a honey and spice collection washi and so is this one look at how well they go with the look at how well they complement all of the things in this collection i think they go really well i opened it to the floral that's how i was um trying out these washies and i came across the floral i put it on top of the floral and it went super well with this one i did i couldn't believe how well it went so that is my kit the only other couple things that i brought in were the library cards which i don't know if I'll end up using they were kind of out here because I actually I didn't specifically pull these out for the collection they just happened to be in the way of me moving uh one of the containers that I didn't end up using for myself <laughs> and so that's why they're in my container I did pull out some of these stamps because I've never used them. I've used this one. I want to have it out so that I can use it for something. These I haven't used before, so I want to use them. And like I said, I don't know if I'll get to that, but they're there and that's what I wanted to do. I also pulled out these because I felt like some of the navies, the beiges and the yellows kind of went. And then, yeah, those are the colors primarily that I picked those out for. And then I have some of those bows back here as well. So words and some of this cork stuff 
for a different texture. So that's something else I pulled out to use. And photo corners, cause Heidi Swamp, I did my own sheets and I used some Tombow Mono Multi-Liquid Glue. <laughs> That's a mouthful. And I glued these to the back of some sheets and I put them in with my other pack of photo corners because then that way I can use those if the opportunity comes up. Now, I did pull out these sequins to go with the collection. So that was some dimensional stuff. And like I said, I also had pulled these out to make way for something else, but they're here. These are Heidi Swap stencils that I have. If I end up using them, that's great. If not, I'm not gonna worry about it too much either because that wasn't really intended for or what do you call it? The, the stencils weren't really pulled out and intended for this kit, but since they're out, if I use them, great. If I don't, that's fine too. Those are the different options of colors that I have. Oh, I have a navy in here too. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. I think I had a pink here. Oh, there it is, see? There was also a pink in here. So those are the different color options that the photo corners have. And then one more thing that I do have that I do wanna try to use, not necessarily with this collection, which is why I probably probably move onto paper, what do you call them? Paper, 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 pa layout, like single layout kits is this all boy chipboard phrases by Echo Park and their adhesive brads. My friend, my dear, dear friend uh, sent me these in the mail as a gift and Dolly and I wanted, my friend Dolly, I wanted to say all together, I'm, I'm jumbling with all my words. They're, I'm, I'm getting all flustered. And I have this out because I want to use it. I want to play with this. I want to make a boy page or two, one for each of my boys. And so I have this out as well. So you may see this in the mini kit Monday kits. I will put a video if I do end up making a page kit or just a separate video altogether to see what kind of page kit I come up with these items with. And that's it y'all. That's all I have. The only other thing and I'm already forgetting right off the bat. I wanted to pull out a tool because I saw something in here and it reminded me of that and it's probably a punch, but I can't remember anymore. So this is what I'm going to call my mini kit Monday kit for this month. Oh, oh, you know what it was? And I have to pull out and make some, but I just remembered. I know I have a seal that came with this Emerson, am I getting it right? Emerson Lane collection. I wanna make some or, or a lot or a stick or different colors, but I do wanna make some seals and see if I can use them with this collection. Anyway, that might change. I might not use this for the whole month of May or I may leave this all out for the month of May, but it w probably won't be my only collection. So that's just kind of a forewarning or a preview. I don't know what you call it. I'm at a loss for words right now, but that's it y'all. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next Monday video with a layout, hopefully using this collection kit. And if not, I'll show you the other kit that I make for the month of May. Don't forget to check out our two guests that we have. I only remember Jeannie Linguini and I am so sorry to the other scrapbooker. I uh, will link her in the description box down below. We will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.